started a new one for next week, so I'm excited about that. This one is a little different. I have used white. I used white gouache paint and white charcoal. Just trying a lot of different techniques at the moment. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. I can't wait to show you the end result. For this artwork, my reference was backlit and the way that I shot Jaslyn, the light was coming up over her body and that white cloth was really illuminated by the light coming from behind her. So I really wanted to justify that by using an actual white rather than just letting the highlight be the colour of the acrylic base. So for this drawing I wanted to create a little bit more texture within the skin tone and within the drapery I wanted it to be more of a crosshatch technique. I really wanted to be able to see those pencil lines in the finished artwork so I have left a lot of the pencil lines unblended and I really like it. I think it adds a lot of character to the portrait. It's really different from my other artworks especially my last artwork that I just did was really really smooth and blended but this is really quite rough and sketchy. In one of the comments someone asked me how I got into this and I guess I've been doing this forever. I've always kind of had a pencil in my hand. My mum was an artist and still is. I come from a long line of artisans and one of my great aunties is actually was a huge part of European art. Her name is Grace Crowley and her work is displayed in all the state galleries in Australia. She was an amazing, amazing artist and she was one of the kind of pioneering women to bring European art back to Australia. And within my family and growing up seeing my mum paint and draw from a really young age was really formative. I tried to go and work at a normal job and leaving my full-time job was the hardest thing I have ever done, but I just remember being at a normal job being like bored out of my brain and at the time I was working in television shooting and editing TV commercials I did a little bit of on-air work working on TV shows and stuff and so as I was working nine to five Monday to Friday I would get home from my day job and get straight into drawing and I loved it it brought so much happiness and joy and life into what was feeling really empty and so it came to a point eventually where it came to a bit of a crossroads and I had an opportunity where I could take my work with Channel 9 to another level and move into different areas of the company and really carve out a career in television or I could leave and start an art career. I moved back to my hometown and worked on my art day and night for the next of years and here I am today. I started my business in 2018 and then left my corporate job in 2020 and now it's 2023 so four or five years. At the end of last year I got the opportunity to work for my art mentor which really has been such a blessing. More than anything it's been so amazing to be able to share this experience with someone who has been in my exact position and he and I are quite similar so he has so much advice and so much wisdom and I have been listing every artwork I complete on my website and so if you're seeing anything you like and you're interested in purchasing make sure you go and check out my website also if you'd like to learn how to draw like me I have just released my charcoal techniques course where I'm teaching you pretty much 18 different tips and tricks to working with charcoal and there's a lot of things I had to learn the hard way so I just thought putting everything I know into an online course for you. So if you're interested in learning how to draw with charcoal, make sure you check out the link in the description. And if you have any questions or want me to talk about anything in the next video, make sure you leave me a comment on this video. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Thank you so much for following along. Make sure you subscribe. I will see you in the next video.